Spring beauty and summer shade, come on down the grass pad. Uncle's got truckloads of trees to choose from. Need big trees? Come on down and see Uncle at the grass pad. We've got jumbo flower and ornamentals and big, bigger, and the biggest shade trees all for your yard. To ensure your plant's success, follow Uncle's idiot proof planting guide. Use Uncle's Max Mix in a hole and follow that with Root Accelerator, the plant starter with all the goodies. The grass pad's high on grass. We'll roll out the turf for you. Trees are what make your piece of the earth yours. Planting trees and bushes can save you plenty of money. And in an afternoon, you could make that statement. Bring your pictures. We will help you pick your perfect plant. Honey, I'm planting a tree in the yard today. Where do you think you want it? Can you show me a couple of different spots? What about right here? I don't know, that may be too close to the house. Well, let me move over to the right and see if that'll work. Here's where the tree would be, honey. And here's the house. What do you think? Perfect. Let's get started. Well, let's talk about planting a tree. First thing you want to do is, is pick a site in the yard for the tree. That's going to help determine what kind of tree we're going to recommend. The other thing that we need to do before you do any planting is have the underground utilities marked. There are gas lines, electric lines. We don't want to be surprised when we're digging the hole to plant the tree. Once you come down the grass pad, then we'll talk about what type of tree it's going to be, whether you want a shade tree or a flower and ornamental or an evergreen for privacy. What do you think about these purple trees? They'd look nice. Or how about these maples? Yeah, I think I like that. Welcome to the grass bed. How can I help you? I'm showing my wife some trees. Well, these maples are great trees for our area. Does that stay red all year long? No, it turns a very nice color in the fall. Is it hard to plant? It's easy. We've got the grass pad idiot proof planting guide. I think we'll take it. Now that you've got the tree picked out, let's talk about planting. We just need to get a few things together before we start. You'll need a shovel, wheelbarrow, piece of cardboard to put the dirt on when you're digging the hole, the root accelerator, the fertilizer for the new tree, some mulch to go in around to protect the trunk and, and the tree from the weed eaters and the rabbits. We need the tree stake kit and you'll need a bucket or a hose to water it after you've got it planted. My uncle always said dig a $20 hole for a $10 tree. What that means is the hole is twice as wide as a root ball but just as deep. Here's a tip from Uncle. Take a big piece of cardboard, put the soil you dig out of the hole on it. It makes a great mixing platform as well as it keeps the yard clean and makes for easy cleanup. We really would like to have the bottom of the root ball setting on undisturbed soil. That way the tree doesn't settle down and end up being planted too deep. Once you've dug what you think is the right size, the easy way to check is you lay the shovel across the hole Put your hand on it where it's deep enough. You hold the stake up to the root ball to know if you're at the right depth. When we're done digging the hole, you want to make sure and scratch up or scarify the sides or the wall of the hole so the roots can penetrate your native soil easily. You're going to take the soil that you dug out of the hole, mix it with the Max Mix planting compost at about a 70-30 ratio. 70% soil, 30% compost. That's going to go back in around the root ball. If you're planting a bald and burlap tree, don't remove anything until you have the root ball in the hole. At that time, you can remove the twine or the strapping that's around the trunk. Uncle says check your container trees for circling roots prior to planting. Take the tree out of the container. If you see roots going around in a circle around the outside edge, and then take your knife or your shears and the pruners and snip down through so those circling roots stop that growing action. As you're backfilling, you want to take your foot and tamp it down firm. You don't want to have it all loose. Once we've got the, all the backfill in, we're going to put some mulch down. You'll put your cypress mulch or your mulch of choice around the tree. 
it's time to stake the tree. We're gonna stake it parallel with the prevailing winds, which in our part of the world comes from the south. So there'll be a stake on the south side and a stake on the north side. You drive it in the firm, undisturbed soil. You're gonna run the wire through a hose or through a tube so it doesn't damage the tree because you would like to have a little bit of movement going on. We'll need to have this tree stake for the first couple of growing seasons. It's time to apply the root accelerator. Now for that, we need a five gallon bucket, fill it full of water. We're gonna put in two cups of the root accelerator. And they're gonna slowly pour that around so it soaks into the root ball. We want to do that once a month for the first year. And if you'll do that, you will be amazed at how fast that tree grows. Cypress mulch or the mulch of your choice. Uh, we want to make sure we don't have the volcano up around the trunk because that's like wearing a wet sock all the day long and that's not good. Well, let's talk about water. Uncle recommends a 3-2-1 rule. We want to turn the hose on just a trickle where the water's coming out about the diameter of a pencil. We'll lay it down and soak it for 10, 15 minutes, depending on how big a tree it is. We're gonna soak it three times the first week, twice the second week, and once every week thereafter for the first month. Three, two, one. Once you've got that stake, everything's put together, you're home free. It's that easy. For these and more tips, come see us at the grass pad or you can visit our website. As your family grows, so does your family tree. The grass pad has a nursery full of trees, shrubs, and bushes. Bring your pictures. We will help you pick your perfect plant. Visit a nearby grass pad location and get started this weekend. For spring beauty and summer shade, come on down the grass pad. Uncle's got truckloads of trees to choose from. Need big trees? Come on down and see Uncle at the grass pad. We've got jumbo flowering ornamentals and big, bigger, and the biggest shade trees all for your yard. To ensure your plant is success, follow Uncle's idiot proof planting guide. Use Uncle's Max Mix in a hole and follow that with Root Accelerator, the plant starter with all the goodies. The grass pad's high on grass. We'll roll out the turf for you.